Welcome back guys, the Legend of Zelda A Link Between Worlds, where we're starting our climb up Death Mountain in Hyrule World. I don't want to be hit by any falling boulders though in the meantime. We have ourselves 89 Mai Mai's of course, and only a few more to find all around the place. Ooh, rupees, lovely. I like how they just fall down from the sky, but it's just like, it's tempting me. Rupees galore. But still, we want to head over here because there's places that we haven't seen, haven't explored, or have missed on the way up. My Mai's must be around, so with that said, we start our exploration from the bottom upwards. Start looking around, though, there is a portal very nearby. We'll take whatever's in here, 50 rupees, I'm going to take that and run with it. What we're really looking for is Mai Mai's. Now, apart from that... I haven't heard any chirping or anything to denote that anyone's nearby, which is kind of disappointing in some senses. Of course, finding Mai Mai's is one of our priorities right now. Oh, thank you for landing on that. That was brilliant. Cheers. Look at all the rupees. All the rupees. In fact, they're dropping enemies down. Okay, then. And hurting just generally quite a bit. Right, so there's definitely a tunnel over here. It's just remembering where we went the first time. It's so long. Oh, it takes some fairies, that's for sure. What's along this way? More rupees, I'd imagine. Monster guts. No my mys. Oh no! But still, should we take the merge and find out what's in this section of low rule? On top of that. Excuse me, we're going through. Pretty much found ourselves just rupee treasure chests for the time being, but we'll head- Oh! I'll take a Mai Mai for no problem whatsoever, but Death Mountain seems to be a snowy place rather than a fiery place in low rule. I was about to say probably safer way to get up, but then that guy iced me. Yeah, taste my rock. Apart from that, let's defeat you and get you out of my face. Seems to be there's a way back over there. Some familiar music, if anything. Oh, I don't like these guys being given the ability to ice me. How nasty is that? Right, so let's have a look around this area down the bottom first of all. Question comes where to go, but the big mark on the map kind of tells you enough, doesn't it? Well, never mind, Mike. Seems we're better off with our low rule so, uh, search than our high rule search. That brings us to 91. We are in line for our last upgrade, it seems. After all, we have no more items that can be upgraded after the next one. Even if we can find another 10 Mai Mai's. No Mai Mai under this rock. Have you enjoyed the boulder, sir? I'm going to walk on through because... This cave must be different. Indeed it is, with fairies inside to top up HP. This is interesting. Let's zoom in the map here and see what we can exactly do around here. There is a door up the top left area, kind of hidden in the clouds on the map. You say a door, but it's actually a massive ladder. In fact, this layout is incredibly memorable, including this bit of ground. But it seems this time round, there's a slope up rather than relying on a past and future kind of thing. Frozen statues are... Well, I don't like this. I wondered if one fire thing could have done me better there than what I was doing, but... Spin attacks have to deal with this guy. Oh no! These guys quite fast, I'd say, but the treasure chest found. Take what you can get is my motto in that sense. We got ourselves a hundred rupees. Right then. Where on earth is this? Don't you dare, sir. I'm going to deflect that with my Hylian shield. Any of my mice around want to be saved, though? My might? No, but there's a path over here. Wherever this leads. In fact, this leaded to a spell before, if I remember correctly. And there's definitely a my might in this section. We cut down the number even more? That should leave three more to find in this part. 
no secret passages or anything. Where else are we found? Apart from defeating you, we can get ourselves a nice fast travel point. And you ever vain the treacherous tower? Okay, we won't save. We want to find out what's going on here. Well, hello. Okay, I tried to defeat you instantly. Probably not the best way to go about an introduction. Well, boom, boom, sword boy. Welcome to the treacherous tower. You look pretty fit. Want to play a quick game? Only 100 rupees, but I'm saving it up. Boom, boom. That's the spirit sword boy. The rules are super simple. A bunch of baddies are going to attack you. Just beat them. You look like you can take care of yourself, but since it's your first time, just stick to the beginner course. Just five stages will be a piece of... That'll be 100 rupees cake. Piece of boom, boom cake. I'm just like, I just want to keep saying that. Alright, have fun in there and do come back in one piece. Um, what, can you, like, tell me what the reward is? Oh, shoot a doot, I forgot to tell you. Returning alive is not guaranteed. Enjoy. I thank you, madame. The treacherous tower with 2D sprites watching us from above. Mini Moldorms galore! I'm guessing these enemies aren't going to drop hearts then. Oh, okay, that, you want us to go on? I was thinking more enemies were being brought into the fray there. Let's find out what... Okay, it just shocked quite a lot of them, but to be honest, I need to play a bit more of a conservative game. I've lost a little bit of health here, and I don't like that. A beginner course, you say? Maybe I just gotta rely more on shields. We know that we can at least... Oh, they, they neutralized each other's shots there. That was brilliant. We can rely on our powerful sword to kind of bring our, us through a fair bit here. <laughs> we could just herd them to the edge. Farewell, we're not actually going to defeat you. We're just going to make you fall off. This is not a platform for skeletons, is it? Oh, What? You're kidding me that you're going to stick Moldorm on this little thing with me? Mind you, if I think about it, considering the sword that I've got... Moldorm isn't going to last very long, is it? Oh! Throw me rupees! Well, that's brilliant! Well, now you've made the place a little bit more worth it. There's a warp point back... Any... Is that just the beginner course? Was that it? Where am I going? What am I doing? What is this thing? Is that done? Okay then. Wow, you made it back. That's like crazy. Your clear time was 47 seconds. Okay. Tell you what, if you could beat that time on this course, I'll add some extra rubies to your reward stash. Okay, and since you cleared this course, you could try the intermediate course if you want to. The intermediate course is 15 levels, lots of baddies, and a piece of heart. Oh, only cost 200 rupees, you say? Hmm. I think I just made 200 rupees, to be honest. Promise me you'll come back, okay? Please and thank you. Well, with that said... Anyone want to give me a couple of hearts back? That would be most appreciated. No, that was not a couple of hearts back. That was one heart back for a big heart loss. Yes, that's exactly what I want here. Any hearts would be good to top myself up before I go in. But I don't want to challenge the big guy again. So we'll leave you behind, sir. 200 rupees? Let's do this. A piece of heart is what I like. Go for the intermediate one. Tons of baddies for entertainment. A low cost for only 200 rupees. But if I make a net gain of rupees as well, then I'm still happy with this. In fact, I still have a net gain, don't I? I need 2,600 rupees. I'm only 500 away. And exploring this place is going to get me tons. Okay, rope is galore. <laughs> One slash for each of them. Seems like the enemies are not amused. Oh, movable bats. Movable bats. Get away from me. Get away. Someone actually hit me. That was more. Never mind. We'll defeat you as well. Fine by me. 15 floors, you say? Well... I don't like the thought of fighting you guys, but you at least start on the same level as me. Oh, come on! How'd I get hit? That was just poor work. Oh, goodness gracious. Um... They get mad when they get flipped over again, don't they? Okay, maybe not. 
With our big shockwave here, we can easily do that. Oh well, off into the never with you. Next floor. You can get through them nice and fast, to be honest. Stunning them kind of helps as well. Ah, 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 ah. That <laughs> one of them got squished completely. Now maybe the big hammer is a kind of good setup marker for this. At least I shouldn't bounce off that much. Especially if I keep my back to the door here and they keep heading towards me. Being able to stun anyone and everyone is good for me. Well, I should have put my shield there, really, but... Rushing them work too. Alright, excuse me, you guys. You can jump at me all you like. I'm pretty sure I'm going to take you out in about two seconds. Apart from that, you are going to be annoying, aren't you? These are not guys I wanted to be facing. You can run off if you like. That's fine by me. I hate those guys. Alright, ton of Gibdos, you say? I was about to say, they're not going to stand up well to the sword that I have, but they did. Especially when they come in a big mob like that. Well, one of them got insta-squashed. You may as well... Oh, you didn't get into squash. Okay. Obviously, we hadn't weakened you enough. What floor are we on now? Oh, my goodness. This is bad. If I get hit with one of them... Oh, they hit each other, though. So if I keep going in a circle, maybe I can get them to... Oh, I nearly knocked those guys off. One of them went. That's another one defeated. And another two gone. Ooh, those are possibly my most dangerous ones. They took a lot of help from me outside. Ah. Well, then it's your turn to bomb me whenever you want, and then I'll step forward. I oh, what? I was about to say that tip about shields was really good, but then it didn't turn out so much. Well, if you hit each other, that's perfectly fine by me as well. I think we're fine with these guys, to be honest. Except, is there a big one that starts off? Okay, maybe not. Get away from me! Stand still and slash in one place. Works fine. What floor are we on? I haven't kept track. 14th floor. We're nearly there. Thankfully, our sword is so powerful that we can knock them out pretty fast. That's a lot of troops, you say? What? Well, they took each other mostly out, more than me. Whoa. Right, a stun might be able to enable me to finish them off. And we're done. Ooh, ah, ah. Yeah, I'll take that kind of rupeeage. That was really indeed what I wanted. Where's, where's my piece of heart reward, though? Are you going to give it to me at the end? I don't want you to chuck it in now and completely trick me. That would suck. Still, I can't believe it. Well, I can believe it, but I can't believe it. Amazing. Your clear time was 2 minutes and 56 seconds. It only counts when we're actually fighting. If you can beat your time in the scores, I'll give you some extra rupees. No, we're fine with that. So you clear the scores for the first time. I have something special for you. Peace of heart is ours. You know what? You should really take a crack at the advanced course next time. The advanced course is 50 floors. You can beat up baddies to your heart's delight. Cost 300 rupees to give it a try next time. Just let me know if you want to never go at it. I'm not going anywhere. Well, I think we'll leave the advanced one for now. And do it after we find the dungeon. Yeah, I do promise I'll come back. It's like she heard me there. I was about to say, give me all my hearts back. For now, however, with this much rupees in hand, I'm tempted to go somewhere else entirely. And you know what my gram says? It's good to walk. Stop to smell the roses. Pick up monster parts. When how's you doing, Miss My Gram? I'm sure you do. Well, we still gotta search for my mice, don't you know? Still, there's another thing that interests me, and that is my amount of total rupees at this point in time. I think it's time to do some donations, don't you? And possibly see about getting our fire rod upgraded, assuming there's an icy area. 
Hello, we'll throw in 200 rupees at a time, of course. It's too bad you can't let me choose more than that. Thank you for what you've done. No problem, I'll take the healing, but we want to keep donating, don't you know? Keep donating indeed. Let me throw more than 200. This is the slow way to do things. Well, that tower, I guess it's kind of like a pit of 100 trials type thing. And it's not like there hasn't been gauntlets in Zelda before. I mean, Wind Waker, Twilight Princess. Quite a few of you. Your generosity fills my heart. I'm sure it does. Can't give me a piece of heart due to it. Just tons of fairies. At least they're free fairies. Well, I say free fairies, but it's 200 rupees at a time. We're at this point, aren't we, where it's like last dungeon, last sage, and then we move on towards the real ending. And the last few collectibles around, the last few things to do. And that's exactly what we've got to do. Not the most entertaining parts, maybe, the My My Search. But I'm 100% completing this, you can guarantee. Maybe not every treasure that we get, though, however. I mean, after all, when we did the flying cuckoo part down the pit and I got the big rupee straight away, there was still, like, 50 rupees there and 20 rupee pieces. I think I'm dodging them. Let's put it that way. I think this is overall what we need for our rupee cap. So how many more do I have to donate at this point in time? Three more? Four more times? We did end up with fair bit more rupees than I had intended after all. All of a sudden being hoisted up past 3,000. You've done a lot for my family. Thank you. Please do not stop now. I take it we're very close. Different dialogue options to say. Ah, you've done a lot. Please do not stop now. We're really going to help you, madame. I'm not sure exactly what all these riches are really going to do for you, however, but still. So close now. You've done a lot. Please do not stop. Two more, do you reckon? Two more, I reckon. You've done a lot still. Okay. Last one. If my maths was anywhere near right, in the first place, we had 3,100 rupees, we needed 2,600. I've grown much thanks to you. Let me give you this bottle, it may prove useful in your travels. One of the most expensive bottles you'll ever get. But it fills things up for us. Brilliant! Thank you, madame. We finally got it so. With tons of rupees saved, I'm pretty sure that's all she wrote for rupee type purchases, apart from if we want to buy ourselves. Certain things. Well, lucky getting to go so many different places. I've been stuck, you know, just in general, I'm sure. Like scoop fruits and the whatnot, we could spend our rupees on now, but having bought everything and all that jazz, we're looking so good for the future, it's ridiculous. So, with that said, one more upgrade to do. And we'll portal back onto Death Mountain, I think. Two more heart pieces still to be found, though. Hopefully they're up there. I knew you'd be able to help me. Thank you, oh, thank you. I do remember someone saying in the comments, though, that I did miss one. So hopefully we can find that. And it should be on the ascent, I'd imagine. Only the fire rod to do. Fire rod? Well, yes, there's only one thing I could do. You could have just taken it in the first place. Now it's got a swirling flame around it. Try not to see stronger effects. What can I get next time, though, I save your children? My babies are so shy. Oh, I don't know what you might give me. Maybe, like, a power-up on my energy bar or something like that? That would be quite tasty, that's for sure. So, we want to go to... Hmm. Death Mountain or the Tower of Hera? I think the tower... Hey, you lost? Confused about where to go next? Is it? Yeah, yeah, I could go to the fortune teller, I guess, but still. 
he gives too much away. So, we still have a Mai Mai hunt to do. Well, even more important than that. There's a heart piece down that way. How do I get there, you ask? That's another story. Maybe I missed one, maybe I missed more. Maybe that's one of them, and the one that you guys said I missed is a completely different one, which is actually, if I remember correctly, is here that it was mentioned. In fact, that brings me straight round to it. One more piece of heart to get. Where are the Mai Mai's? Where are they? I have to explore up and down the mountain to find it, but it seems I get myself into a fairy fountain for going around that way. And so, we've taken on that tower of all these trials. We've gained ourselves more heart pieces. Just one left till our very last one. We've given tons of rupees for a bottle. We only have eight more Mai Mai's left to find, let alone the dungeon, which I'm guessing will be further along that way. So join me next time for The Legend of Zelda A Link Between Worlds. We'll probably get more story orientated once more. Bye bye.